dear child of God. He says, my purpose will stand and all of my good pleasure I will accomplish. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. My purpose will stand. My purpose will stand. Dear child of God, the plans of God, the purpose of God, the desires of God that he wants to do for you are so great. He says they are wonderful. There are things that will bring you peace. There are things that will give you a glorious future. And he says they will stand. His good pleasure. He says they will be accomplished. Dear child of God, I want you to know that what God has said he will do for you, he will do it. He must do it most certainly because he knows it already. He knows how he has conceived it in his heart. That was why when he was saying in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, said the Lord. He said it. He thought about it. And then he said it. He knew it. And then he pronounced it. Dear child of God, the things that God is thinking about your life, the purpose and the plans that he wants to accomplish in your life, all the things that he had conceived in his heart, Everything that he had thought about, he will say it to you and your ears will hear it. The ears of your enemies, the ears of everyone around you, the ears of everyone who had mocked you will also hear it. Everyone around you will know that God is destined to do something great and they cannot stop it. He says, for I know the thought that I think toward you said the Lord. Dear child of God, God will open your ears and you'll be able to hear what God is doing. You'll be able to hear what God wants to do. You will hear what God wants to accomplish in your family. You will hear how he wants to settle you in your home. You will hear how he wants to make that marriage work. You will hear how he wants to financially settle you. You will hear how he wants to build you a home. Dear child of God, your ears will hear it. Everyone around you that will hear of it, their ears will also tingle. They will be in amazement. They will be in shock. In Isaiah 65 verse 17, it says, For behold, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. It says he will do something new. He will create it. Dear child of God, you will see the creative power of God manifested in your life and in your family in the mighty name of Jesus and it will be obvious that God is real in your life it will be obvious that God is alive and everyone around you will know that the power of God is seen and is felt in the mighty name of Jesus he said I declare the end from the beginning Isaiah 46 verse 10 he says an ancient times from what is still to come the child of God I want you to know that the greatness attached to your life that is yet to come is amazing. The things attached to your life that is yet to manifest are so beautiful. And I want you to hold on for them because they will be coming. He says, the things he wants to do in your life, when the people around you will see it, they will be amazed and they will be shocked. He told Samuel, that when the years will hear the things that he will do for him, he says the years will tingle. Remember 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 have said, Eyes have not seen, neither have ears conceived what God have in store for those that love him. Dear child of God, the Lord will create something awesome. He's telling you you have done it in the past and he will do it again. He has done it before and he will do it for you. He says he would do it in a way and manner that everyone will know it was God that came through for you. Every single one, we know that God is at work in your life. Every single one, we know that God is showing forth upon your life and towards your family in his greatness and his power. It will be obvious to all that God is bringing forth his mightiness around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you that He is God and there is none like Him. He's saying to you that He is God and He will come through for you. He's saying to you that He is your God and you are His own. He's saying to you that you are His precious one 
and he wants to do something great and amazing in your life. He says that you should remember the things he had done for people in the past, that it is your time to see his mightiness and power. He says you should remember how he came through for that person that you know of. He's saying it's your turn to see his mightiness and his power. He says you should remember the things of old that he had done to people in the past. People that you could see tangible testimonies coming through their life. He's saying to you, it is your turn. It is your turn and it's going to create something beautiful. It's going to make something great. It's going to make something awesome in and around your life in the mighty name of jesus he says for i know it and i will do it it's good pleasure he said he will accomplish it dear child of god he said everything that he had made everything good that he had made he said they are for you they are for you to enjoy and whatever it is that you have been lacking in your life whatever it is that may have been denied you all of these years He's saying to you today, that like he did in the past, he will do for you. He will create them. He will make them available. Dear child of God, God is creating that man for you. That when he shows up into your life, you will know that you are receiving your consolation. You will know that you are receiving your settlement from God. When he brings forth that woman that he has destined and attached to your life, when you see her, you will know for certain that God truly loves you and he made this one for you specially. Dear child of God, God will do it because his purpose will stand. He had planned it already, had written it out already and he said it will be given to you. He said they will be brought to you. Jesus would express this in Matthew chapter 20 verse 23 when he said, but it shall be given to them for whom? It is prepared of my Father, my God. He said, it will be given to those people specifically that my Father had prepared it for. Dear child of God, the Lord had prepared that man for you. He had arranged that home for you. He had arranged that woman for you. That you will say, this is the man of my dream. This is the woman of my dream. This is the kind of marriage I've been praying for. This is the kind of life I wanted to live. And now I am living in it. Every of my dreams have come true. Dear child of God, I want you to know that those things you are dreaming about, those things that you are wishing to have, they are part of the plans and purpose of God. And he says to you, all of my good pleasure I will accomplish. All of my good intention, all of my good desires, everything that I have had that are good intent for my children, which you are one of them, he says that I will do it. I will accomplish it and it shall be visible in the mighty name of Jesus. That everything you may have suffered in the past, every single one of them will be gone away from you because the Lord has settled you, because the Lord has shown you his goodness, because the Lord has come through in the mighty name of Jesus. So dear child of God, worry no more because everything that he had declared from the beginning, everything that he had declared from the ancient times, they will come, they will still come. They will come into your family. They will come into your life and your hands will receive them in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you do receive them, this will wipe all tears away from your eyes. When you do receive them, this will cause you to forget all the sorrows you had experienced in the past in the mighty name of Jesus. He knows your very end. He knows where you are going to receive your blessings from. And he's telling you, he will locate you there. He will connect you to those people and you will receive your blessings in full in the mighty name of Jesus. So get ready to testify. Get ready to dance. Get ready to rejoice. Because your celebration, because your seasons and your times for rejoicing has come in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the things that God has prepared for you, every single one of them, you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. They'll be tangible in your home. They'll be found in your life. And this will cause you to rejoice for the rest of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust God. 
to make these things good and it shall surely happen for you in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom